Hi everyone, my name is Atharva Nanche and welcome to Red Fox Security Channel. Whether you are just starting in cyber security or looking to level up or just curious about cyber security, you are at the right place. At Red Fox, we prioritize hands-on learning with 70% practical, 30% theory and ensuring you to get real-world skills. Our team has worked on hundreds of real-world engagements we offer pen testing services across various domains of cybersecurity and provide courses and training at academyredfox.com. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn for more insights. So getting to the today's discussion, we are going to talk about Drozer tool, which is used for Android penetration testing. So let's get to the slides. So uh, as I said, this uh, will be an introduction to a Drozer tool. So in this part, I will going to cover uh, what exactly is a Drozer tool and how you can use uh, Drozer to map attack surfaces in uh, Android application. So before uh, mapping any attack surfaces, we need to understand what exactly is Drozer and why it is used for Android penetration testing. So let's go ahead. So what exactly is Drozer? So Drozer is an Android penetration testing tool used to identify and exploit various components. Uh, it also requires an agent that is called as a Drozer APK to install on the target device. So what exactly I mean by agent is like, uh, so there will be a kind of APK which you need to install at the emulator or an Android device you are using for uh, penetration testing. So you need to install that APK first and then you need to connect that APK with your local system. So there will be a proper facilitate communication between the Drozer tool. Uh, uh, so how it runs on a, uh, so Drozer basically runs on a PC and it com uh, communicates to the Android device via ADB. So what is ADB? It's an Android debuggable bridge. It communicates to the Android devices using ADB. So there are some key features of Drozer. First, it identifies exported components. So what do you mean by exported components? Is like, uh, uh, there are some of the components in Android, like activities, uh, then there can be broadcast uh, messages that been shown. So these are some of the components of Android uh, and Drozer helps us to identify uh, the, these exported components. And not only identify, it also help us to interact with these in, uh, exported services. So with this, uh, with interaction, we can also check if the, those have any appropriate permissions or not. So this is what exactly has Drozer gave to us that we can uh, properly communicate with uh, the Android application and uh, we can also check the attack surfaces as well. So uh, how you can check whether these activities or these components are means vulnerable. So how you can map an attack surface. So Drozer attack surfaces includes an exported Android component such as activities, broadcast receivers, content providers and services. So there are uh, four major components of Android that, are, that is activity, broadcast receiver, content providers and services. These, these are basic attack surface of Drozer where, and it targets them. Uh, so how you can install Drozer? So there are, uh, I have written two steps how you can install Drozer in your system. So first you will require a tool at your local system and a agent as I said earlier, you need an agent to be deployed on the, uh, what you can say, uh, target emulator or the Android device which you are using. So there are two steps. First you need to uh, get an emulator. In this demonstration I will be using Nox Android emulator. Uh, and yeah, you also required a vulnerable application so you can test on it. So right now I will be using damn vulnerable Android component. Uh, all the links of, the, uh, of these setups have been given in the description. You can check from there. Uh, and the in the setup too, uh, you will require JDEX GUI. So basically JDEX will help you to decompile the application and you, it will also help us to know uh, if these components are exported or not from the GUI itself. And yeah, there is one more important part as uh, Drozer also requires a package name to uh, enumerate these uh, components. We will also get the package name from JDEX. And the last and the important one, the Drozer itself. So yeah, uh, you can just uh, install it from these links. I'll just show you. 
so you can get the knocks from uh, this particular link bignox.com uh, then you can get the dam vulnerable android components from uh, the particular uh, from particular git repo uh, jdx from here and the drawser agent from this repo all the links will be given in the description you can kindly check and work as well uh, so i have already installed uh, the uh, all the requirements so let's get started and i will explain uh, one by one how we can enumerate those and how we can check with it so first our main step is to connect the drawser with the emulator so uh, let's do it first understand how we can do that uh, if you have installed the nox on your device uh, then it might be in uh, in these two folders if you have a c drive it will be in the c programs 86 nox bin uh, or in the D drive, D program files, Nox bin. So you can go and check it over there. Uh, you need to make sure you are on the right uh, directory. Then open the command prompt over there. Uh, connect uh, your uh, uh, local system with the uh, with the emulator itself uh, by using ADB devices. Uh, make sure that the Drozer APK agent is running on 31415. Uh, then you need to forward the port uh, to that particular uh, port on which the APK or uh, Drozer APK agent is running and then execute the command to get the console of Drozer. So let's do it practically. So I'll show you how we can do it practically. So first uh, I have already installed the Nox. So you can just do it and you will find it somewhere here. Uh, program files, Nox, bin. So first uh, we need to connect this uh, local system with the uh, emulator itself, ADB devices, yeah, so okay, uh, so as you can see there is uh, the NOX is not running, so let's start the NOX first, yeah, uh, and one more thing when you have installed the NOX you make sure that you are uh, installing the uh, uh, what you can say Android 9 so how you can do it uh, go on Nox assist uh, click over here multi drive manager uh, there is an add emulator over here I have also given the parts in the link uh, in the PPT itself you can pause and check uh, in the multi drive manager add emulator and then there is a uh, Android 9 64 bit make sure that you install it it is recommended so you can practice it as well okay so I have already installed it. So let's start this and test the application. So yeah, it will take some time. And then I'll just close it. Uh, yeah, so uh, my Nox emulator have been already started so let's check with the devices part if it is running or not now run adb devices uh, so as you can see your Nox uh, is running on port 62025 uh, so you have uh, you can uh, connect with it now uh, the challenge was to uh, to install uh, the APKs on the Nox so you can basically drag and drop the APKs in emulator so it will be installed uh, I'll show you I'll just uninstall it and I will show you So uh, these are the downloaded APKs. This is the browser agent which you will require to connect. Uh, just drag and drop into to the emulator. And this is the vulnerable application. So you can just drag and drop so it will install. Simple as that. Okay. So uh, the application is successfully installed. Now let's go to the command and check uh, if we can uh, forward the port. Uh, so our challenge is to forward 31415 port. So 
it will like tcp colon 314415 and tcp 3115 enter uh, so let's make sure the browser agent is running okay it's off so basically you need to make sure that the uh, browser agent is running it's right now off so click over here it will turn on start embedded server on port 31415 now again uh, run this command adb forward so as you can see uh, it is connected so now uh, to connect uh, your browser uh, with the uh, what you can say agent you first need to install the browser so i have already did it so you can install it by this command pip install browser so requirements are already satisfied uh, you might need to turn off your windows defender as well while installing this uh, particular tool so i have already installed it you can just uh, turn off your windows defender and install this uh, browser so you can check if your browser is installed properly by like running simple this command yeah so it is running right now uh, so uh, we have forwarded the port now let's connect with the console of uh, the particular emulator so browser so we will use this command console and connect so yeah so we have successfully connected with the uh, console of a browser so uh, right now what is our challenge we need to uh, map the attack surface and we need to check uh, what are the components of this dvac vulnerable application which we can target and we can enumerate those so uh, one more thing uh, in this uh, session i will be covering only the attack surface and how you can map this attack surface uh, the particular attack surface for example the activities or broadcast receivers will be covered in the later session so how you can do it like you need to run a command run app package dot info and now what we require as i said uh, we we are installing jdex to get the package name we will require a package to understand the, uh, to get the information of the particular package so for that you need to uh, run this jdex gui uh, drag and drop it Uh, once you have drag and drop it, just uh, go to the resources, uh, then to the Android manifest file. So in the Android manifest file, you can see uh, there is a package a uh, name com.zing.dvac. So it is basically the package name of the particular APK. So copy it and you can use it to get the info. Copy it properly. yeah so uh, just press enter to get the information as you can see now uh, you got the information of the particular package name so uh, it is attempting to get a shell module uh, package name is this so application label dvac we are on the right application uh, and other informations as well so yeah, as I said, uh, it uh, Drozer also helps us to understand the permissions of particular uh, application APK. So these are some of the permissions. Now uh, to get the attack surfaces or to understand what Drozer can uh, uh, exploit. So there is a cool command for that. Run app dot package. dot attack surface and then i don't i don't think so is required but still let's check then the package name itself so i don't think so is yeah uh, this argument is not required enter 
so yeah so this is the particular attack surface so drosa gives us uh, a command through which we can understand what are the components of particular android uh, which are been which can be exploitable uh, so there are four activities in the uh, what you can say the android apk of the dvac which can be exploitable three broadcast receivers which are exported one content provider and two services so these are some of the uh, uh, what you can see components which can be exploitable so you can also check them in the uh, jdex by just going here i'll just show you control f so let's see the active activities fetch registration activity and change password activity as you can see over here uh, the activities uh, there is an android activity change password activity android exported true so there are some of the activities which are expo uh, exported true so basically browser will uh, show us that those activities and will check if those activities are exploitable or not so as i said this will be an introduction of drosen in which we will understand how we can map the attack surface so to understand how we can exploit these components stay tuned and i will be dropping another video for all the all these uh, components as well at red fox academy we don't uh, just teach we prepare you to uh, get the real world uh, hands on learning and insights from experienced professionals want to land a high paying salary in big four company start building right skills today with red fox security explore our courses at academyredfox.com and unlock your potential share this video with your friends and let us know in the comments if there is any specific topic or you want us to cover in specific videos if you love our content hit the subscribe button for cybersecurity journey starts here let's learn with red fox security Thank you.